Alright, welcome back to another episode where we try this broken team. Alright, and opponent has rather standard looking team. I feel like I've even seen this team somewhere. So, let's see. I would imagine he wants uh, Duraldon, especially. Duraldon. Okay. Whimscott and... Let's see. I kind of like Mimikyu. I do like Mimikyu. Okay, we're gonna start with Mimikyu. And let's see. Scrafty looks really good. Uh, let's see. Am I a fan of Rotom Heat? Yes, I am. Am I a fan of Darmanitan? Not as much. It can hit pretty much everything, but I think Rotom Heat hits everything better. Yep, I think we're just gonna bring Whimscott, Mimikyu, Rotom Heat, and Scrafty. Uh, I don't think Sylveon does enough damage. Uh, Darmanitan, it can hit Ice Cold Crash. Uh, it can Flare Blitz, it can Earthquake. That hits practically everything, but I think this is probably the safest. Alright. If I'm going to expect anything, alright. If I'm going to expect anything, it's Duraludon and it's going to uh, Dynamax really early. Although, if he brings Moldbreaker Excadrill, then I would expect maybe that Dynamaxes. Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it. Alright. And we're going to get rid of this Duraludon. We're going to switch Rue. Uh, Duraludon's item matters a whole lot. So. Uh, could I actually use a play rough here? Uh, we're actually not going to take the chance. No. Shadow Sneak. We're going to do the proper combo. And yep, there's a specs. And eject button. Get rid of you. And we also take away a lot of its damage. I literally immediately created a problem for my opponent. And we're going to give the specs to T-Tar. Reflect. It's probably like clay. It's not that important. Switch through onto T-Tar. And we're going to Scrafty. We basically just shut down Tintar. Because I don't like Mimikyu ter terribly much right now. I'd rather just minimize what this Tyranitar is going to do. And the specs on the Tintar is really, really bad. It doesn't af- what? Oh! What? I'm very surprised by that. Alright, we're gonna switch Rue onto Grimmsnarl then. And... We just fake out T-Tar. I'm just looking. I'm honestly unsure.
I'm very confused why I couldn't uh, give it specs. We're gonna switch up Whimsicott into Mimikyu, and we're going to max knuckle this Tyranitar. Dryalodon, that's fine. Dynamax Scrafty. Fire Punch in the Mimikyu takes it. Alright, and it appears my music went out. Oh well. Weakness policy, huh? I'm very confused why I couldn't switch a route that. I'm very confused why that didn't work. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of Tyranitar and we're going to max knuckle this Duraludon out of existence. It has no item. It doesn't have damage boosts. Music so it comes back. Alright. It's going Dynamax. Yep, a Duralidon. is Tyranitar. Like the max, yep, it's max steel spike against Mimikyu. Oh no, against Scrafty. I don't think that was a good play. That was a crit. Very well. And we see a max knuckle plus two Mimikyu. He should have taken out Mimikyu. He really should have taken out Mimikyu, because now it is a plus two Mimikyu. We know he has Grim Snarl. I don't know what his fourth Pokemon is going to be. I don't imagine a Grim Snarl is going to come out here. Oh, it is. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to double up on Duraludon and just see what happens. So I believe that is the best play. Grim's not uses Thunder Wave. Very good for my opponent. But I have a Lumberry. So we get the damage off anyway. We lower his attack. Alright. Max Steel Spike into Mimikyu. Yes. That is a proper play. Good. But I do believe a plus two Scrafty 
is going to take out this Gyarados. Max Knuckle. He's not a. Oof. That is harsh. And we're gonna bring him Rotom. Rotom has a confident out speed. Into Dryladon. And it's hardly any health anyway, so we'll drain punch the Grimmsnarl. And we're going for a plus three into this gun spell, I do think. Yeah. I am 100% confident that my Rotom is going to outspeed your Ally Dawn. Do the last bit of damage. And then Grim Snarl is going to take a lot of damage and we're going to heal a lot. Yeah, I, what? What? Oh, yeah, that's bad. Max warned him very well. Yep, just a little bit of damage. I don't know why he even bothered trying to T wave. <laughs> that was very confusing. And we'll see what his last Pokemon is. It is Gastrodon. Very well. Uh, I don't have much against Gastrodon. So we're going to Willow it first. And we're also going to Drain Punch it. This should do a fair amount of damage. I'm not entirely sure about why he brought Gastrodon. I mean, I guess my team doesn't do too well against it. And there's a Willow. And a Drain Punch takes quite a bit of HP. Yep. Foul Play does a little bit. And I guess we're just going to overheat. Oh, the reflect wore off. Yeah, we're just going to overheat this Gastrodon and drain punch it. Or I could have throw chopped. I could have throw chopped there. Gastrodon used protect. Okay. Yeah, Gastrodon is the only thing with da with damage. I can deal damage. There's no foul play. Ouch. And we basically negate Gastron's. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oof. Oof. I. I. My opponent made a misplay actually. All right, we're actually gonna will us this Grimmsnarl, and we're going to switcheroo onto Gastrodon. Because now it all it can only protect. There we go, and we're going to just focus down this Grimmsnarl, and we have shut Gastrodon out of the game. recovered but still it can now only recover this is hilarious right I'm gonna protect and we're going to end ever grab
out of play into the Rotom. I expected that, and yeah, I guess Rotom's going to sit there and recover the entire game. Yeah, we win this. <laughs> and now we just Thunderbolt the Grimmsnarl and Helping Hand. Grimmsnarl goes down and it's just Gastron left to spam me to recover. Amazing. All right. And my opponent has nothing. He should actually give up. We can just, uh, Willow. Just waste PP and then Endeavor. Yep, and my opponent just realized that. He's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything. I can't advance the game state whatsoever. So, I win. I decided to look at this team and notice something about the original trainer name. It says PK Hex. PK Hex. PK Hex. PK Hex. PK Hex. Cut. And. Yeah, this person actually cheated to get all these Pokemon in. I mean, it's unreasonable that most people get their Pokemon in a Pokeball. That's not entirely reasonable. To see. Especially a Tyranitar. Tyranitar should be in some other Pokeball. I mean, if it was a great or an Ultra Ball, I'd believe. But I honestly legit, legitimately believe. Yeah, this, this team was. This team was, uh, not, yeah, this team was definitely cheated, so, next up. Alright, welcome to another battle with this team, and, um, looks like some Trick Room shenanigans. Uh, Bronzong can Trick Room, and potentially the Chandelier or the Guard for. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm going to lead Scrafty and Whimsicott. I like Scrafty against my opponent a lot. And let's see. Does Sylveon do damage? Uh, he has a fair amount of steel types. Mimikyu can hit hard, and I think Rotom is the choice. Let's see, does Darmanitan wreck his team completely? Alright, some weird stuff happened in the first parts of that, but we'll be fine. And we're going to go for a very, very weird play. We're just going to max darkness to Chandler, and we're going to switcheroo onto it. And we're just going to take the Chandler item. It's going for the Trick Room, 100%. And we're through to hit him on top. It's fine. There's a Vika Volt coming in. Very well. And yeah, my opponent does not see this coming. I can guarantee you that. It's probably a Sash. So he does not think it is legitimately possible. I was thinking I want to prevent a fake out. We got flinch, so we just shut down Trick Room. 
and we max darkness. Channel Largo is, is gone. And we, yeah, we wake, we just wrecked his play. <laughs> Hit him on top, comes back out, that's fine. Intimidate, whatever. We're going to max knuckle this uh, hit him on top and run bring in Mimic Cube so we get a uh, free plus one. I don't anticipate my opponent even suspected this was remote possible play. So he went straight for Chandler Trick Room. And oh my goodness, predictions. Free plus one. On Mimikyu. Scrafty goes to minus one, that's fine. Flash Cannon. And we'll go for another max knuckle. MQ is just going to hard uh, hit the vehicle vault with with the play rush. Ooh, interesting. He's uh, imagine vehicle vault. Yep, vehicle vault. Okay. I think it's okay to just not uh, bring back Scrafty. Ouch, that was really harsh. People die, fine. Oh, make me do that. Well, it is minus one defense on the Vika Bolt. And I'm just going to bring in Wim Scott. And we're going to overheat this Vika Bolt. Chandler comes back in. It's also fine. And <laughs> Vika Volt just dies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my opponent didn't use that dynamics too well. Hit him on top, comes back in. All right. I think we're going to Tailwind. And I believe even at minus two, we kill Chandelier anyway. So we're just gonna kill the Chandelier. 
pick out. It's fine. There wasn't really anything that uh, Wimscott really wanted to do. That crit didn't matter. Uh, I think I want to take out Rotom right now. Alright. I'm going to switch Roo onto Hit on top. And we're going to go into Scrap. No. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to switch Roo to Kappa Jaw. Or do we want Endeavor? I think we want Endeavor actually. And then we're gonna go into Scrafty. A minus one. Actually, maybe a Tailwind would have been better. Combat, fine. Oh, sorry about that. I might go with that. Rock slide. And we're going to go to Rotom. I don't believe a minus one on top can do much. Um, I want to switch through the Kappa Jaw just in case. So I feel like it's Life Orb. Alright, no. We're just going to Tailwind. Yeah, we're just going to Tailwind. And overheat this Kappa Jaw. And I'm confident that uh, I can take out him on top. Kappa Jai dies. And I don't believe um this hit on top can KO. Not at minus one. Yeah, not at minus one. And it's at minus two special defense. So we're just going to helping hand and overheat for game. Alrighty. And yep, my opponent realizes I had him. Alright, on to the next game. Alright, welcome to another battle with this team. And my opponent, ooh, has some spicy uh, stuff on here. I see, yeah, that Excel Uh It could be power or guard swap stuff. Um, I think Whimsicott. Um, Mimikyu. Let's see. Does Sylveon do much? It does do quite a bit. Rotom do a lot. Yes. Scrafty do a lot. Scrafty hits practically everything. Okay. Now it's Sylveon or Darmanitan. Darmanitan. No, not Darmanitan this game. Uh, it's not hitting him enough. Rock Slide can hit some. Earthquake can hit some. Yeah, I think Sylveon's a little bit better. Uh, what does my opponent want to do? Uh, he probably wants X Drill against my Mimikyu. He wants Tyranitar in general, I think, against my team. Or maybe not. Yeah, we'll just do this. We'll see what happens. Drill and cost this. I thought that Skidrill was going to go. Is it Mole Breaker? That is the question. 
is not Moldbreaker. Okay. We're going to switch through this Excadrill, and then we're going to just Sword Stance. And then we'll see what happens. Maybe two sword stance. There we go. Plus two sword stance. This might be a predictable play. Yeah, it's just going to go straight for a rock slide. Willow. Oh my goodness. My mini. Oof. Too bad for my opponent. I have exactly what I need for this. Alright. We're going to Tailwind. And I am obviously faster than Excadrill. So we're going to attempt to go into Excadrill. Uh, I don't think he wants to ally switch at all. So we'll just hit the Excadrill. And we draw from a couple of years. Yeah. That was uh, really risky to keep it in there. It was really risky. And there's a reason I went for Tailwind. I was like, maybe he does something weird. Oh my goodness! He goes for the Dynamax! No! No! Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't want something weird happening with the speed. And he loses his Dynamax! Mimikyu is still faster. He loses his Dynamax for nothing. <laughs> and he's dealing with a plus two Mimikyu on the field. Under Tailwind. I played that perfectly. I was like, I don't want something weird to happen, so I'm just going to Tailwind. He's not going to Ally Switch. Alright, fine. Healer Whisk. It's not going to have Sash. Uh, it could have Sand Rush, for whatever reason. And... Hmm. don't want I think I'm just going to I'm gonna switch it out switch uh, women's got out it's not very useful right here we're just gonna go into scrafty and we're gonna play rough the heal risk I don't or we can play rough the Tyranitar and just not deal with it I like that idea actually yeah let's just not deal with the this Tyranitar. Intimidate. Withdraw to heal us. Okay. Cofagrigus. And I think I just completely outplay my opponent. Whoa. What? It lived! A plus two! And maybe he still lives. Okay. Um. I'm confident that a straight up fake out is going to knock out his Tyranitar. And if it doesn't, no harm done. Shadow Claw and a couple of these. Ooh, withdraw. Very good. Healisk. Fine. He basically gets nothing now. He's trying to outstall the. But, uh, he's trying to outstall the Tailwind. But. 
the problem is is that Sandstorm's also going to go at the same time. So I think a Dynamax Max Knuckle, Heliosk, and a Play Rough into T Char. And I believe Dynamax. Yeah, I think switching happens before Dynamax. So, this is fine. He really wanted to try to stall out the Tailwind. But I don't think he legitimately can. Before it matters. Yeah, T-Tar is go gone. Discharge. Fine. I maybe should have gone into that heal list. But it's still fine because we're max knuckling for a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Excadrill can come in. Excadrill's gonna come in. I think I want to come back. Uh, Wimscott wants to come back in. Uh, Extra Drill does not have Focus Sash. Uh, I see a potential ally switch. So, we're going to Max Darkness into Cofagrigus, and we're going to Tailwind. This is the safest play. If he ally switches, so what? I have a, it's a plus one max darkness in next drill. Resetting Tailwind. Uh, so that if Sylveon has to come in, it can just clean up. I'm pretty confident Scrabdy can live no matter what anything. Oh my goodness, did I not predict the ally switch? Did I not predict the ally switch? I was like, there's a total ally switch coming. There's no way it's not going to happen. I was like, there is a 100% chance of an ally switch. Outplayed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I outplayed this person at every single turn. <laughs> it's like a plus one has got to. Helping hand. Just because. Yep, he forfeits. <laughs> That was an amazing battle. I outplayed my opponent every turn. I was like, there is totally an ally switch coming. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one.